Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it's all there. It's all there. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Um, this is this almost like seems like a live stream, but it's not really. I just wanted to um, show you how I created my new sub alert um, a song for Twitch. And I thought it would be interesting just to show you how I got there. I'm not going to go through every single um, step that I did, but I'm almost, I'm just going to give you an overview about what it actually looks like and how I arranged it. So we, without further ado, if I can get it to the right um, screen, um, before I go there, please remember that if you have enjoyed this video, then consider liking, comment and subscribing to the channel. Not only does it support this channel immensely, it also contributes to um, me succeeding in my dream. So you're supporting both the channel and my dream. How nice is that? And remember, if you have any comments or any questions, then please do add them in the comments below. And I will, of course, try to answer them for you. OK, then, without further ado, let's move. I think it's on this screen, but I, I do apologize. Yes, here we are. So this is actually Adobe Premiere Pro 2019. This is what I use. Um, I'm actually up here because this is where my media uh, is normally is. But I'm going to move down and cover up the bottom bit just um, in a second to sort of after I've shown you around. So so down here, this is what I've created. And this is all this sort of like the nitty gritty part here. Uh, this is the actual um, um, film and I'm going to play it for you. Hopefully it's not going to be too loud. Here we go. So this is what I actually created. And what I'm going to do is actually go through um, how I actually did it. In crowd, I know where the in crowd goes. Okay, I'm going to show you how I created it and hopefully, hopefully I will go through all the steps and if there's anything else that you would like to know, then, then please do let me know and I'll try to um, include it. Right, okay then, so what we're going to do, I'm going to be very brave. I have got this saved, so um, don't worry, but I'm going to start a new, um, a new project um, just so you can see it and I'm going to call this sub test um, you can't actually see what I'm doing at the moment but um, there it is yeah so this is all going to disappear in a second and I'll get a blank um, a screen here right so what I'm going to do first is that I'm just going to input um, some of the um, videos I got now just so you know um, all the videos that I found I went to one of two sites one is called pixel.com and the other one's called pixabay.com and all the videos and images there are free they're copyright free creative commons license so really good so um, I'm just going to drag some in so the, this one here is, is the disco ball let me just uh, move myself over here so so this is the um, disco ball so that's all the disco ball is um, this one is um, the people dancing if I can get them in this is the people dancing uh, on a black background you might be thinking oh that's a bit strange that's not in the video no it's not um, so, so that's that um, this one um, is another video and this one is of the um, flashing lights um, like that and then finally um, this one that you um, see in the video um, this one is actually all created like this okay so that actually comes like that I didn't do anything um, special with that and finally, um, two other things. This one is the person um, doing the, the body popping bit. Um, that's all, all from these videos. And, and then finally, um, I went to um, two, um, picks, um, two um, iTunes and um, bought in crowd by uh, Dobby Gray, I think it is. And this is actually the, the soundtrack. Um, from it so the first thing I'm going to do and I have to remember how to do this um, is that I'm going to make um, a new sequence um, how do I do that no wait wait I, I can do this hashtag failed at the beginning I think what I'm going to do is go here 
right click there and say new sequence from the clip there you go so here's the new sequence from the clip and this is where I'm going to be doing my work and now I'm going to move myself now over here um, because you know what's down here but you need to see this part so this is the um, so this is just a soundtrack that's that's all it is okay so the the next the first thing I did was that I decided to put on um, the the dancers I wanted to put on the dancers but I also wanted to make sure that I had the flashing lights um, uh, and so sort of like behind them so so this is this is the dancer clip okay then so I just dragged it you can if you wish sort of like um, drag it up to the top um, so you can have them in there but the, these are the dancers like that that's it and then these uh, I'll just move that along I'm just left clicking and dragging it and then this is the actual um, the, the dancing pixels now what I've done here can you see I've overlapped it big and because I've dragged it in it's taken out my um, soundtrack and I learned this you're all probably thinking oh you newbie you're newbie and I found this really le uh, early on and I've just taught myself everything about Adobe Pro I found that if you lock the layer using this little key here then that doesn't happen so if you've got a better way to do it then please do tell me um, so yeah so I'll just get rid of that so the, f the first thing I thought I'd do is that I would have the disco um, ball um, on um, so this is the disco ball and it's just a video file it has no sound to it so what I thought I'd do is that I'll I'll wait a little bit and there's a there's a little pause before everything starts if you notice that's why that's why I wanted it on that like that so what I did then is that I got this this is a disco ball and I just positioned it here now this slider down at the bottom I can sort of like make smaller and I can see just there that might be where the music starts so let's have a look no it starts that's the beginning of the drum beat so it starts over here somewhere that I do right I'm just going to inch it a little bit forward that's cool that's that's good right in that place I love that so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it at the end so that's it and I, I've got the first bit and of course what I would do now is do um, I would just um, save that now um, to make sure I've got it so this is the first bit da, 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 da. Okay, so this is absolutely fine. Right, that is when the dancers are going to start. So I'm just going to come to the end of this clip and left click and drag it and cut it. So it's up to there. Okay then, so now what I wanted to do, I wanted those background lights. If you remember um, from this one, I wanted these background lights, um, but they, they were flashing a little bit too um, fast for me. So what I did was that I dragged them onto here like that. And then what I did, I, I noticed that it sort of like went to a different um, resolution here. And I thought, oh, I quite like that. that that's quite a nice different resolution. So I, I just sort of like changed it a bit um, like so. And then what I thought, I thought, oh, this is, this is sort of like going too fast. So. Uh, I did two things the first thing down here it's got a soundtrack to it so I right clicked and I went to unlink and I unlinked it and then once you've unlinked it you can't see that right click I don't think but I think you can get it to clip as well I right clicked on it and there's an option to unlink and I unlinked it and when you get when you've pressed unlink you can then get rid of this bottom you can just delete it so I've got rid of it um, altogether now the other thing that I wanted to do was that um, I right clicked on it and I went to speed and I actually reduced the speed of it to about I think it was about 60% I've just put 60% into it and clicked OK let's see no it's still too fast it's still too fast so I'll just go to um, speed again and go right the way down to 10% let's see what 
Yes. Now, can you see it? It's, it's a, so over here, this is it um, normal speed. And I thought that's far too fast. So this one is at the new speed. And that might be a little bit too slow um, still. So right click speed duration. I th let's take it up to 20% and, and see what that's like. Yeah, I like that. It seems to be going with the beat. Okay, then, which is fine. Now, what I did then was that I locked that layer so I don't left click and drag anything onto it. Now, the next thing I wanted to do was put the dancers on top of it. Um, so here, I think these are the dancers. Here they are. Notice this has got no soundtrack to it uh, at all. So uh, what I did then is that I dragged them over here and I there they are um, on it. So now when I go to the beginning, let's just play it from the beginning so we see what we've got. So this is the um, ball going around, which is really cool. And then we've got this. And you might be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute, we don't have the flashing lights behind it. And you would be correct, we don't. So therefore we have to apply an effect to it. And I, I picked these dancers for a particular reason because they had a whole black background on them. So what I do then is that I go up um, to the effects menu up at the top and I press effects. And I, I don't know how to get it so you see all the um, um, right clicks and things like that. So if you know how I can sh get um, OBS Live to show me all the right clicks and menu choices, then please do tell me um, in the comments below. And I go over to effects and I have to remember that Adobe is American now. And I type in color, C-O-L-O-R. And the one that I'm looking for that is down here and it's called color key. And I left click and I drag and I drop that onto this clip. Now up here, now I have an effects menu uh, up here at the top. Let me just sort of like drop me down a little bit further. And you can see here, this is the color key that I'm looking for. And I'm going to take the clicker and click it on the black. And you can see just here now, this is now black. And that's, that's what I wanted now. Now you might be saying, no, hang. now this really confused me for a huge period of time. You might be saying, well, yeah, but we can't see it in wheels. And the uh, what you have to do, and I had to learn this, uh, down here it says color tolerance. And if you just take that to one, um, you start to, or you should start to see um, behind it. So what I then did was I just upped it. Can you see we're 11, I think about 10 I had it. Um, if I just do 10. Now see, you can see the colors behind it. So now you get this. And then all of a sudden, there we go. Doesn't it look cool now? Now, obviously I had to do this over and over and over again because this clip is a very short clip. So what I had to do then um, is that I had to then go back to this and drag in a new version and pop it next to it. Now, you will notice now, if I just let me scrub this along, if I start here now, can you see it's gone? Okay, so, and I had to, I, sorry, I keep saying this, I had to learn how to do this. So what you do is you select the first clip. So this is the clip here. And you go, um, I think you can right click it and, and go copy. Or you can go up here to edit and copy. And then you click the new one and you go edit. And there's various paste options that you can't see now. Like I said, I don't know how to get the menu up. And what you do is you say paste attributes. And it's also control alt V. And you paste the attributes and then you get a, 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 a dialog box that comes up and I just say you get a whole load of options and I say just keep the color key and paste it in and then immediately remember beforehand we didn't have it on you will notice that the new clip has it as well and that's absolutely fine isn't it isn't it cool Boom. now the other thing is 
is the tune's going to change in a minute and then I need so say for example uh, what I did then was let's just right say at that point when it goes ooh then all I did was that I reduced this clip to here and then I picked up from here this clip and dragged it in now the thing to remember is that this actually has actually has a soundtrack so you again you have to right click and unlink it and then you can get rid of the background okay so now we have this it takes a while it's warming up to Okay, it's not exactly on, but I know, I know. Okay, uh, so that's it. Um, and then, um, at the end of it, there's the uh, the bit where the uh, person sort of like flicks by, and I'll come to that bit in a minute. Let, let's put one of those, let, let's put the, uh, um, the boy um, flicking around on his, um, I just need to go source boy. Let's, here it is. Okay, uh, left click and drag that in. You can see that this has a sound as well. So again, I just clicked it, selected it. Um, um, bu, 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 bu. Don't know why it's not doing that. Right clicked it, unlinked it, and got rid of the sound. So we, we've got that now. So I know it's not sort of like clicking in at the right points, but this is what you get. Is out of sight. Here we go. And then I would go into the um, bit. So, so the next thing I did, the next thing I did was I put on the words. Okay, then. So the words actually uh, go on top of this. And I went to graphics up at the top. And. Um, I need my uh, let me just make sure I've got the graphics window open essential graphics here it is um, so here so what I did is that I clicked edit and here I locked that layer I often find I now via instinct lock a layer so I can actually um, put things on top of it let's just make it a bit everything a bit bigger for you um, so you can see me using it because we don't need all this anymore uh, up this like that so you can see everything over there so this is the essential um, graphics layer and what I did was that I pressed this little white um, thing here that says new layer and I said um, text now here, here's the text here and what I did um, is that I um, made sure my text tool is selected there double clicked on it um, you're in with oh i'm just typing you're in with the in crowd with the in crowd now what i actually did just to let you know i cheated a bit here because i actually went to the internet found the lyrics and cut and paste them in for each bit now here so so this is the um this is the text here and there was two more things that I did now I suddenly thought oh that's going to be really really hard to see so I came down to this option and I clicked the background on and I increased the opacity to 100% and made it this I don't know what this one's called underneath it but I made sure that it uh, it covered all the text like so and that's what it looked like now you can see that that is that part there so what I had to do and I know the words are not right here um, but I'll show you what I did then so there so now what I did was that I shrunk it to there I left clicked it I copied it and when you paste it, it'll paste it to the um, the blue line. And then I just went back and then click my text tool here and then changed. I'm in with the in crowd. Now, what I also did just here, 
Can you see this button here? This aligns it horizontally. So I made sure it was aligned horizontally. Here, I'll just click this one and make sure that this is aligned horizontally as well. So now what you've got is this. Okay, so what I did then is that I went through the whole song duplicating all those out until the whole song was actually there. Okay, and then that brings me to the final bit, which was perhaps the hardest bit. So this part here, and I'm just going to uh, put it in the center. Uh, I'm just going to make it a lot bigger. So this part here is the person flipping. It's a flipping person. And so what I did now is that I went back here and I brought in <laughs> something that looks um, completely strange because I brought in my face. Okay, and I went into Photoshop and I took a picture of my face and I cut it out and I feathered the outside of it a bit. I don't know why, it just that I didn't do a very good job in selecting it. So, so that's what I did. Okay, then. so here, what I did then was that I clicked through until I saw there. I think that was the first bit that I did, for example. So I saw his face. Now, what I did then was that I clicked and brought in my face. Now, my face is absolutely huge. <laughs> Now what I did was I, I I reduced that down because obviously it's huge and I picked up my delta key here and I clicked it and so I could reduce it down a bit and then what I did was that I rotated it round and I must admit there is probably a much better way of doing that. <laughs> you can see it now. <laughs> I think I did a better job on that one than, than anything. But what I found was that it was moving too quick. So I had to do the best job that I could. So, so here it goes. So can you see, I actually need to bring it in a bit further. So I just extended it a bit there. I think I actually need it um, there. So here, I just like shrinked it to that because I wouldn't be able to be seen. And then he flicked here. Here, I brought it. Oh, what, what I did then, sorry, is that I left clicked this one, copied it and pasted it. Um, scrubbed it back it looks really funny now because I'm a, a, like a head all by myself there and then just um, clicked it and put it into position and adjusted it again and I tried to I tried to do as much as I could uh, like that and I literally had to go through so here I can only do it for about let me have a look that that frames out so here i probably let me just shrink it down so i have more control i could probably do it to that frame and then i shrinked it like that and then um copied it and pasted it next to it and then on this frame probably moved it over a bit this one I need another one so I, I popped it in again and uh, moved it uh, further down so forth and so on and I literally did that right the way through right the way through the action and it took for absolutely forever I must admit and then and then all I did was that I continued that right way through it until I had finished now I'm just going to save it and the the finished um, article uh, the finished article if I just say recent and put in this one so this this is the the recent art oh I, I forgot a bit I forgot a bit uh, so the, the other thing that I did 
is that um, I actually um, let me just um, exit this the screen will go blank for um, uh, do I want to say um, no uh, the screen will go blank for a minute but don't worry it's coming back I'll just start up I'm not too sure how to go between projects. So somebody can probably tell me that as well. So the other thing I did was that I went onto the emoji site and downloaded an emoji and dragged it in. And I also bought a speech bubble. And the interesting thing about the speech bubble, I had great problems with it because it was a white, it was white on a white background with a black line on it. And what I had to do was actually I'm going to Photoshop and get rid of it so it was actually transparent right the way through. And then I put it down on the side and then I imported, I put the emoji down on the side and imported the speech bubble and then put some text in it that says, I think it says, wow, in wills when, when it comes up. So this is just um, um, Premiere Pro um, starting off again. Um, I've actually had to move Premiere for, uh, Pro from my C drive onto my E because I didn't have enough room on my C drive and hence why it takes quite a while to sort of like start um, up. So so this is the um, original again. I'll just, I'll just, um, this is just, uh, let me just um, get, so this part here, if you see here, this is where all the um, flips are. So this is the bit that that's that's the emoji. Let me just uh, move it forward a bit. So this is the emoji. That's my speech bubble and go in Wilson. So you can see my face is out. That's all um, up here at the top. So if I if I pull it out, uh, let me go to the first one because I did it. I had to do it twice. I'm sure. Yeah. So so this is the first one here. And then what I did, I actually cheated because once I'd done it once uh, for there, and somebody's probably saying, press the button, press this short key. Once I'd done it from there, I actually selected it all um, and then cut and paste it onto the other one. So, so this is what that final sequence looks like. And then it goes back onto there. And then all I did was that I rendered it out. So I hope, I hope that's been um, in uh, my background to come up. It's just a bit slow. They, uh, I hope that's been interesting for you. And you can see the the full version of this video, um, the of the finished sub um, song, um, on YouTube as well. It's had a copyright claim against it, quite naturally, and I accept that. So, so yeah. So if you have any questions, then please add them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this and would like more of these sorts of videos, then please again put it in the comments below. And also please consider like commenting or subscribing to this video because doing so not only supports my channel but also supports my dream. Until next time, have fun guys and I'll catch you all later. And until then, happy Adobe Premiere Pro win. Have fun guys. Bye. Stop recording.